Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Lifestyles Update. Hi, I'm Ashley Serzega, and this is Lifestyles on Location. And I'm Allie Stein, and this is your Locator Media Lifestyles Update. So first, let's talk about what's been going on in Hollywood lately. On Sunday night, some of Hollywood's hottest celebrities gathered to celebrate the best of television. If you didn't get a chance to tune in, the 68th Primetime Emmy Awards were hosted by late night talk show host and comedian Jimmy Kimmel. The night was filled with red carpet looks, political jokes, and even peanut butter and jelly sandwiches made by Jimmy Kimmel's mom. Big winners of the night included HBO's Game of Thrones, which took home its second consecutive win for Best Drama, and the FX miniseries The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, which took home several awards, including Outstanding Limited Series. So Ashley, I know that you are a longtime Brangelina yes. fan, and I have a feeling you are going to be very upset about this next story. When I heard that this happened, my heart shattered. Such a shame. So unfortunately, one of Hollywood's longtime power couples, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, have decided to call it quits after 12 years together. Their romance started after they starred together in the 2005 movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and although they were together for more than a decade, they had just married in August of 2014. Jolie filed divorce papers on Monday, citing irreconcilable differences and that she made the decision for the health of her family. She is also asking for physical custody of the couple's six children adopted from Cambodia, Vietnam, and Ethiopia. I have to say, I'm pretty upset about this. They mm -hmm. seemed like a great couple. And they were together for, for so long, and in Hollywood, that amount of time is almost unheard of. Almost always unheard of. So, talking about campus now, have you ever wondered how students around campus make their rooms look so unique? So cute. So Love cute, definitely. All. So let's take a look to find out how students can make their room special for them. Here we're going to take you an inside look on how students decorate their rooms all around campus. My favorite part about this room is that, um, you know, I have it all to myself and stuff, so I don't have to worry about, you know, sharing with somebody else's the room and stuff, so. Yeah, I have my own AC, so that's pretty cool, you know. The window is pretty neat and clear, so that's, that's cool. My favorite part of the room is my bed that is right by the window because I get a nice breeze in the morning. My favorite part of my room would have to be my trampoline because it helps me get up into my bed. My favorite part of the room is the entertainment center because it has all these compartments to hold all my stuff. My favorite part of the room is the setup because my roommate Ashley did a very good job of making sure everything looks nice and is also functional, like our shoe rack. My favorite part of the room is definitely my Buddha statue that my best friend Kim gave me. My favorite part of the room is my giant desk because I get to fit all my decorations and my TV and also my books on it. Wow, those rooms look awesome. I really like the trampoline. I thought that was an interesting touch. Need to get one from my room to help me get into bed. <laughs> on Tuesday night, Ryan Murphy's Scream Queen's second season premiered on Fox. The Chanel's are out of the sorority house and inside a hospital as medical students for Dean Munch. 
John Stamos and Taylor Lautner are the perfect eye candy addition to the show. And a new season means a new killer, which will have viewers screaming along with the characters. TGIT is back on ABC. The night kicks off with the season 13 premiere of Grey's Anatomy. Things pick up right back where they left off, with Alex Karev finding his girlfriend, Joe Wilson, in a compromising position with a fellow doctor at Gray Sloan Memorial. Let's just say things took a violent turn, and now Karev has to deal with the consequences. Homecoming week is here at Cabrini. Events throughout the week were a trivia game show and a 3v3 basketball tournament. A pep rally bonfire, dance, WYBF Radio's 25th birthday party and Big Prize Bingo are just some of the homecoming events that students and their families can enjoy. More information about scheduled events for homecoming weekend can be found on cabrini.edu slash homecoming. So what are you looking forward to this weekend? Definitely that big prize bingo. I'm pretty sure there's always really good stuff you can win there. Over a hundred dollars. I'll all the definitely be worth. there. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Lifestyles on Location. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms by simply searching Locator Media. I'm Ashley Serzaga. And I'm Allie Stein. Have a great week, Cabrini.